want to share a story with you, a story of faith in the midst of tribulation. This story really touched my heart, and I pray it will encourage you, even in the midst of your tribulations and your difficulties in life. Rita was a mother who came to Christ through our satellite broadcast a few months ago. But soon after her faith, she was tested. Her five-year-old son died of cancer. A few hours later, she found herself following the coffin in the funeral procession. And she says, as we were driving with my husband in the car, we felt such a deep peace from our Lord in our hearts, our emotions, and in our mind. We both felt as though we were going to a wedding celebration, knowing that our son was joining the one he was meant to be with. These are not empty words. We really experienced it. My whole family was in grief and pain because of his death. My husband and I, however, were not mourning but comforting the rest of the family. They were astonished and could not understand how we had such peace. One of my relatives told me privately, your son just died. How come you have such peace? I told him, because I know my son is in good hands. Then I shared about the gospel and how Jesus is always with us and even in our tribulation comforts us. He was deeply touched and knelt right then and there and prayed with me to receive Christ. My heart was filled with joy that day because even as they were burying my natural son, the Lord gave me a spiritual son. So I told my husband, today nobody truly died. And instead, one person became alive. The Lord used our son today to save one person from the mouth of Satan and eternal death. You can imagine how painful it is for a mother to lose her child. But the same Lord that gave her grace and comfort, he will give you and me comfort. I pray He will give you in your tribulations and troubles in life the same grace, the same comfort, so you can comfort others. You see, what all we did for Rita was just to share the gospel over the airwaves. The Lord did the rest. I want to invite you, let's deliver the gospel through airwaves into every home in the Middle East. Because I believe when we do our part, Sharing the gospel, the Lord will do His part, transforming lives.